You ready? Ready. For those of you who don't know, this is my dad. And we've hunted together every year. We've probably done more hunting together this year than, than ever. We've got a lot of time, so we just want to spend that time and you know learn new country and really see if we can't find the best bull that we can find. We're, we're into the post rut, so there's still some activity going on, but it's not as heavy as it would have been into a full rut. We're here at the right time, and the weather's cooperating, so it's beautiful. And I'm looking forward to uh, harvesting a nice big bull. We're just going to keep at it until we uh, we make it happen. Rain, shine, more like snow, sleet. Don't say that. It's beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna have uh, 10, 10 wonderful days of blue sky and okay. 35 degree temperatures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote you on that later. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. You know, we're, we're into an area that likely very few people have ever came into and it's not been easy getting in here we've had uh, we've got these large humps that we're crossing through and it's uh, rough terrain but having said that we've done really well we're moving along at a pretty good pace we haven't seen anything yet we've been glassing we stop every once in a while spend some time you know looking over these uh, rolling hills we uh, we have a destination and uh, we look forward to actually getting into there getting onto some of this Traveling is just not fast. There's a lot of hummocks and it's just really, really slow. We just came in here and right away, Dad smelled the moose and you could just, and as soon as he said it, I could smell it. So there's a bull in here somewhere right now. You picked up on some scent from a, a bull. But at this point, we haven't had any response. It's a good sign if they're in the area. There's another big valley that comes in here and we'll get into an area where we can set up camp and then spend the evening calling there. I got a moose way back there. A whole lot of open country. And this is an ideal spot because there's so so many miles you can see right here. It's starting to get chilly. That's where we're heading. We got 60 miles of open valley, but that's where we're gonna find our moose. It is nice to get into the kind of the heart of the country that we're trying to get into anyways. This valley is just huge. Yeah. And I know there's moose here. Yeah. For me, I feel I need to get elevation. And it's great when you and I are working together where you're doing the calling and I'm really glassing. Because mm -hmm. I do hate to say it, but I think you're a better caller than I am. Well, that's a known fact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A known fact. I'm trying to give, I'm just trying to be polite and you know. And you have to take it to the next level, <laughs> every time. Spent the last 45 minutes calling here right from camp. And now we're gonna hike to the top of that hill over there and just spend some time glassing and get some elevation and really get the lay of the land over here because we've been in the valley the whole way to this point. So now I just want to get up top and see if we can't put the binoculars on something. He is big, guys. Big, big. See, he's got no cows. Great fronts. I am having a moose gasm right now. We've been up on the mountain, not five minutes. Dad had already spotted moose down here and then picked up this bull. He's a long ways out there, but he's big, like really big. And now we just have to figure out how to get in there and get them. So this is the beginning of the draw that he's in. I'm not 100% sure how far we have to go. It's really hard to identify where he is when you're down here. When the sun starts to go down and he gets up out of his bed, he might slowly make his way over here. I think that's our best bet right now. Tonight has been one of the most interesting 
evenings of moose hunting that I think I've ever had. We came back to camp and I hiked back up the mountain and I saw this bull moose come down below us. And then when I put the spotting scope on him, I went, Ugh. and that is the biggest moose I've ever seen in my life. I, I called and I actually called fairly hard and he just really didn't pay any attention to it. He was on the move and in the direction. As I'm watching him, with the spotting scope, I look over and I see the bull that we were calling, you know, all day. He is literally in the meadow that we were calling him from. And that didn't happen because we left. It did happen, but we just weren't there. It's unbelievable. These two bulls literally came together in the exact same meadow we were calling from and fought. And I believe that the one bull is a mid-60s bull, and the one that came from the river this evening is mid-70s. Once they lock up, the big guy just starts shoving them, eh? I don't even want to say those numbers, because people won't believe it. But I do. We're out here early this morning, much earlier than yesterday, so we, we likely have a, let's get a chance of anything to see any movement because we still have the frost in the valleys. The moose will stand out because once the frost leaves, they blend in with the terrain, hard to see. It'll be another probably 15 minutes before the sun comes up, so it'd be great to get some glassing in before that sun comes over the hill and is right in our eyes because that's what's going to happen. We know there's two big bulls in this valley somewhere. It's our job to find them. Coming to the call from a long distance away, but the call at close distance, he's, he's not into it. Came back up the hill and we found the big moose that we were looking at this morning. It's 3.30 now. I think we got a couple hours before he's probably interested in getting up. So we have to really make some tracks. Dad's up on top of the mountain. We got up close enough to take the shot. I just looked at that bull and honestly, it's got my dad's name all over it. <laughs> and I couldn't pull the trigger on it. After last night, walking away from that bull, got back to camp. He was a monster, this one that went to the right. Kind of made a game plan to come up the hill this morning, try to find him. And right away this morning, we found him. He was about probably 500 meters from where we left them last night. We're gonna have to walk up across the river and through some rough ground to get a little bit of elevation and then just call this moose in. He seems to be coming in from long distances, but really hanging up at that last critical distance. Hopefully we can get dad over there so that he can take him. The idea is just to get up here, spot the bull and make a game plan. So we have to get down the hill and get hiking over into a position where we can try to call this moose. It's been some you know, some tough hunting on dad. Walking in this country is really hard, and it's exceptionally hard when you're in your 70s, I think. He's not young, and he's really working hard out here, and I really appreciate that and, you know, admire that. You know, I don't know how many more years I have, you know, to hunt with him like this, because it is hard on him. I'm going to keep hunting with him as long as he can and as long as his body says that he can do it. Uh, but right now, he's hurting. We're really hoping that we can make this happen today for him. For me, hunting with him as much as I have this year, it's fantastic. You know, it's been very difficult. Okay, you got to move. It's been very rewarding. Keep it going. We've had a lot of ups and downs over this season. This bull, if he, if he comes in, that's great, but if he doesn't, that's hunting. And nonetheless, I know that my dad's put in the best effort that he can do. Right now, I think is the critical time. He's up. It's gonna be either he makes the decision to come in or he makes the decision to walk away. So since he's got up, we've let out one call. He's kind of, looks like he's slowly making his way, but now with the snow, it's gonna be really difficult to see him. We're packing up and heading toward that bull. He's not coming in. We're at the last two hours of daylight, and if we're gonna get Dad this moose, we're gonna have to move on him. That's him, there, the white spot. Yeah, that's him. He's 
walking away. The wind definitely got us. Yeah. yeah, it's tough watching them walk away. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board.